Welcome to Samutsari, Conversations with Mimi, a weekly podcast by Dinosocial, also a member of the Guerrilla Podcast Syndicate. Samutsari is where we can show that ordinary people do extraordinary things. Tune in to be entertained and to learn something new with your host, Mimi Lorilla. Hello and welcome to Samutsari Conversations with Mimi, a podcast featuring hot topics and other topics of interest for obviously men and women alike. We feature guests who share their passion and commitment to their profession or talents. Here at Samutsari, we share stories to inspire you, stories from ordinary people who make extraordinary things. And this is your show host, Mimi Laurelia, and today um, we have another guest that will talk to us about her online business. As you know, in season two of uh, Samutsari, we interview people who are uh, working online or, ha- or have a job or, or have a business online. So they could be freelancers, virtual assistants, um, restaurant owners, you can be a retail, resell, reseller, retailer, you can be anything as long as you do a job online. And the reason why we're doing this is to prove to the rest of you, our viewers and our listeners, that meron din pag-asa, okay? There, there's another way to earn an income, and that is by doing something online. And I have with me a good friend of mine from New Zealand. Say hello, Kiora, to Suzette Reyes. Hi, Suzette, and welcome to Samutari. Yeah. <laughs> Very much si Suzette. So, Suzette, <laughs> um, I want to ask you this first question. Sasabihin ng mga audience ko, who is Suzette? Why, why did I invite Suzette? So, so, Seth, can you tell them a little bit about yourself, what your job is at the moment, how long have you been in New Zealand, ano mga pinagkakaabulahan mo dyan, and then I'm gonna ask you about this online business that you have. So, introduce mo na yung sarili pa sa ating nakikinig. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm Suzette Reyes. I've been in New Zealand for 12 years now. So, I have full-time job in Farmer's uh, Department Store here in Upper Hutt as well. So, I live in Apahat, Wellington, New Zealand. So it's really very handy, three minutes drive from home. So that's my full-time job uh, for nearly eight years now. So yeah, really good. So it was actually Burger King who paved the way for me to come into New Zealand. So they offer me a um, managerial job here 12 years ago. And then after that, when we got our residency, I applied to different restaurants and retail shops. So, so far I love working for farmers because this is really my passion to yeah. be a sales and service, really sales and service manager. Because ever since I'm in the Philippines, um, it's, yeah, it's my it's job. Your, it's your life. Yeah. yeah. So that's my forte. So I started at McDonald's really. So I was, I was in college then, in Dean. 19 years old they promoted me already to be their manager so thanks for mcdonald's um because that's why bk got me here because i work for mcdonald's philippines and yeah it started my journey here in new zealand and then yeah suddenly it was just uh three months ago when i discovered this online business which is norwex um norwex is a company that um started in Norway because this is a beautiful country like New Zealand, Australia, which of course are very proud of clean environment. So Norway's global mission is really improved being the quality of life. We're radically reducing the chemicals used at home. So you will never believe that your house would be super, super clean and shiny just by using cloth and water. Uh-huh. So yeah, that's that's my side hustle actually, which I'm so so happy that I joined this company because um, they really look after their consultants. So after my work at Farmers, then yeah, five thirty I'm here. But a lot of my consultants will come in to the house or sometimes I'll just text them, email them. So you can do that in the comfort of your own home. And then on my day off, then of course I can do party at home also with friends and then that's how you do sales and that's how you really um, inform them and share to them about this very good mission so 
I really joined this because of such a very very great mission of really you know reducing the chemical use mm. making sure that our environment is a safer and healthier safe haven actually for everyone for our loved ones of course and other people so yeah so that's the great mission plus they look after you there's so many gifts rewards a lot of things and yeah it's like really earning a full-time job already ah. even you're just you're just giving them maybe how many eight hours of your time a week so yeah very nice and easy Mm, so, magiging don, yeah. magiging donya Suzette na balang araw. <laughs> okay, Suzette. I, I hope so. No, yes, the plan that's is goal. that's the goal. Walang masamad <laughs> n, di ba? We all well, and the plan in. is yeah, yeah, that's true. And okay. the plan is don't wait, don't wait 65 for retirement. You might be able to retire when you're 55 years old. Yeah. You know, and just stay at home and just really, you know, be an ambassador of this very, very good mission. So, uh -huh. yeah, just using microfiber cloth and water alone to clean your house. You don't need to go to the supermarket, buy those chemicals. I don't go to the chemical aisles anymore because you don't need that. Just water and cloth. Oh, and these are the samples of my cloth. These are, these are the microfiber cloth. Norwex okay. cloth. How, how different is that from the other microfiber cloths available in the market, Suzette? How, how, yeah. how different is that from, you know, yeah. So, so the difference, Yeah, so the difference is, um, I'll show you some videos later, but yes. uh, the difference is um, the normal microfiber, we, um, they're just one sixth of our human hair. If you're gonna divide that but this one is one is to 200 mm -hmm. so there's many threads here which that's why it was it will be able to like you know capture all the dirt grimes mm -hmm. bacteria by just using this and water it's very very good and it has backlock property because some normal cloth when you use it it's smelly you know, uh -huh. and it inhibits bacteria and everything. So with this cloth, there's a silver embedded on each fiber. And then overnight, you'll just hang that because it has a hanging property here. Just hang it and it self purifies the cloth. Uh -huh. So next day, it's uh, yeah, it, it would not smell. And then this is ha this has two year warranty. But a lot of my friends in Canada, Australia, they've been using this for 15 years. Just one cloth, 15 years. So it's really good. Uh -huh. You can save money. You can save your time. Because a lot of my friends who bought from me, they said, Oh, sometimes my day off, the whole day of my day off, I need to, to clean everything. But this in just one stroke, super clean, super shiny. Mm. So you can't believe it. I said, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so Suzette, uh, I have many questions about the product itself and about the business model. So at the moment, yeah. you're working, so is this something like an MLM setup as well, multi-level market? Yes. Or is it yeah. really direct selling? Yeah, it's, you've got two choices. If you're good in selling and you just want to do direct selling, then go for it. But if you want to do it MLM, you can do that as well. I love both. Because if you do direct selling, you've got 32% income. So it's so big. If I made 1,000 sales, $320 goes to me immediately. Uh -huh. So that's really good. But if it's MLM, so you've got downlines with you. So I started three months ago, first month. So I recruited a lot of stuff, my co-managers, my staff, my customers, my friends, neighbors, everyone. So First month I promote I was promoted to team coordinator. Second month I was promoted to sales leader. So I'm sales leader now and I've got 35 downlines with me. So I've got 5% of whatever sales they've got. So I was just in Queenstown last month and I was saying, okay, I'm not, you know, I'm not working or anything. And then I'm just checking whatever income I got from the sales of my staff, of my mm -hmm. consultants. I said, it's almost 500. Rem imagine that. And then I I'm so, so happy because you will get those. And then I said, okay, we'll, we can do another activity. I said to my family, we'll go to Milford Sound. And then just my other income in Norwex paid for our Milford Sound activities. Oh, like 700, 
seven nineteen dollars. You know, like you can still go jet boating and those gondola yeah. without really getting it from your full time jobs. That's so right. nice and easy. Yeah. Okay. So Seth, I'm really excited about everything that's happening sa yo because it seems to be work going too fast. So let's backtrack yeah, a little bit. Because um, yeah. I know that New Zealand is not really that big of a country. So definitely, this yes. is not the only MLM business that is floating around or that is yeah. available for people there to to be a part of. Uh, Nakatao na ito yung nasalihan mo. This is the one that made you uh, really love the product and become where you are now with the promotion. Uh, um, yeah. What's the climate in New Zealand about MLM? Hindi po saturated mga MLM because I know that there are other Filipinos in Wellington doing other types of MLM. So, paano naman yeah. yung competition nyo dyan? Can you explain the the scenario or the situation of MLM in New Zealand? So, it really depends kung ano yung LM, MLM na ginoy na nila. So, actually with Norwex, kasi nag-start nga siya 27 years ago sa Norway. Tapos marami na siyang ibang bansa na nagkaroon na rin ng MLM. So, so far sa New Zealand, 4,000 pa lang kaming consultants with 5 million people here. So, I can really saturate the market, which yeah. is really the thing that I like. Uh-huh. So, yung iba, kahit MLM sila, nag-join pa rin sila as long as kasi may mga of course may di ba syempre agreement na dapat hindi sila executive leader dun sa MLM company nila uh-huh. so example na anyway sila kung consultant lang din sila or agent or hindi hindi sila executive sales leader pwede pa rin silang mag-join i see so hindi na pero hindi na reach mo uh-huh. oo hindi once na reach mo yung position na yon because when you reach there Bibigyan ka na ng car ng Norwex. Okay. Diba so, naman maganda? So, there's always something to look forward to. And the more you get up the ladder, the more exclusive ka na. Hindi ka na pwedeng ma-pirate yes. ng ibang MLM. <laughs> Hindi pwede. Kasi tsaka talagang inaalagaan ka nila. Imagine, biro mo side hustle ko lang to. Two levels up, bibigyan na nila ako ng kotse. Isipin mo yun. Di ba parang wow? Pero teka, Napa- um, is this also available in the Philippines, for example? Kasi I'm sure marami nakikinig sa atin sa Philippines may never have heard about Norway. Actually, wala pa. Ang, ang meron pa lang is uh, Malaysia and Singapore sa Asia. Okay. So, ang ginagawa ko, kasi marami syempre akong relative sa Philippines, friends, ganyan-ganyan. So, pinapa-order ko pa rin sila. Tapos sabi ko sa kanila, sige, yung iba, okay lang sa kanila na half kami ng freight cost. Yung iba naman, lalo na pag relatives ko, shoulder ko yung freight cost kasi okay. parang gift ko na sa kanila. Yeah. So wala namang wala namang problema. Okay. So the reason why I really wanted to talk to business owners like you is that alam ko marami sa atin during the pandemic are still thinking ko ano-ano mga pwedeng side hustle. So in my program yes. sa Masari, marami ako iba't ibang business uh, owners na kinakausap. I'm even talking to moms who are virtual assistants working from home, may mga baby, ayaw nang bumalik sa office. So I yeah. really want um, your story uh, to to be ano parang may pakalat sa iba because this might be Thank something you. some other people might be interested in doing kasi meron namang may skill sa atin sa sales meron namang may skill sa atin sa networking meron din may mga yeah. skill sa atin to to build teams to manage teams and and yeah. I just want to go back to your real job at the moment kasi Mm-hmm. Maraming um, aaliw or naiintriga sa mga buhay ng mga Pinoy sa New Zealand. So, very yeah. quickly, so said, if you are you are having a managerial job in the Philippines, bakit lang isipan nyo pa ng family mo na mag-New Zealand? Why 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 are you now living a good life in NZ at iniwanan mo na ang Pinas? What's your uh, short answer to that? <laughs> Actually, hindi ko talaga balak mag-abroad. Bigla lang dumating si New Zealand kasi uh, nasa Jerry's Girl ako that time. Tapos lahat ng managers doon sabi, dadating yung director at HR ng Burger King. Gusto mo pa-interview? Yung ganun lang ba? Tapos sabi ko, ayoko, ayoko naman mag-abroad. So, yun lang. Tapos sabi nila, pwede ka kasi gusto nila yung mga galing sa McDonald's. Sabi ganun. Sabi ko, sige na nga, itry ko. Pa-interview ako. Dami talagang from Luzon to Mindanao. In interview nila 400 applicants 40 lang kaming nakapasa mimi 
So, wow. It was meant to be, yeah. Suzette. It was meant to be na um, pagka smooth sailing, yung parang hindi ka makapaniwala na bakit nangyayari yeah. to sa akin. I think it's the work yeah. of the Lord, you know, the hand of God yes. that leads you yeah. to where you want to be. And your story is inspiring kasi lalo na ngayon, pandemic, a lot of Filipinos yeah. are still wanting to go abroad. Obviously, easy na maka maka pag-apply at this time because of the pandemic wala mga flights wala nag uh, so what can you say about the situation in New Zealand at the moment okay ba ang situation mga Filipinos in general sa New Zealand is it still a good place to to migrate to yeah very good place kasi wala kaming kumbaga parang wala talaga wala talagang halos covid sa kanya so walang social distancing wala kami yung level level na ganyan sobrang safe pa rin mabuhay dito. Sabi nga namin, napaka-swerte na nandito tayo sa bansang to kasi talagang nilulok after din kami ng government. Diba yung nangyari no na nag-lockdown dati kasi kailangan na halos lahat naman na ganun. So, sabi ng government, um, um, kumbaga, namang problema na nga dun sa health issue dahil may COVID, talagang sinabsidize nila yung, ano, yung sweldo ng mga empleyado. So, hindi mo na, like in sa Philippines, kailangan mo pa maghintay ng ayuda sa government. Pag hindi nagbigay ng ayuda, paano ka naman makikita? Pero dito, sabi ng, uh, ang galing-galing kasi ni Prime Minister Jacinda, sabi yeah. niya gano'n, ayoko nang, ayoko nang mamroblema kayo about financial. So, binigyan niya ng pera yung mga kumpanya para swelduhan pa rin yung mga empleyado. Mm. So, Kaya parang hindi mo, hindi mo ramdam. Hindi mo feel, yes. Hindi mo feel. Pero at the same time, itong mga online business na to, ito na yung pagkakataon na uh, kung konti yung ayuda, maybe this yes. business is a way yes. to make dagdag, <laughs> make dagdag, or yeah, para masuplement true. yung income. So, so eh, super nga ang dagdag. Nakakatuwa, super yung dagdag niya. Sabi ko, grabe, hindi ko akalain. Nakikita ako ng ganito kalaki. Kaya nga, baka naman sabihin ng ating audience, eh kasi naman, sanay ka na so set. You've been in the service industry for so long. Marunong ka na sa sales. Marunong ka na sa ganyan. Paano yun Kahit nasisimula? Yung... What's your advice to a person na nakakarinig mm-hmm. sa atin na parang gusto rin, na intriga din sila to do what you're doing? What are you yeah. going to advise? Actually, hindi naman kasi hindi mo naman kailangan na talagang ang galing-galing mo na sa sales or something. Ang sabi nga nila, kailangan lang, kumbaga kung mahihain ka or something, nagtataka sila, bakit ka nagiging number one? So, lahat ng number one na to, hindi naman na talagang ang galing-galing kasi nila, kaya sila nag number one. It's just they didn't miss the shot. So, katulad ko, kahit hindi ko kilala, basta nakita ko, may isang isang daang halimbawang tao yan, kahit saan, tatanungin mo sila kung willing silang mag-earn ng income sa comfort ng home nila, lalo na pag nakikita mo na may mga maliliit silang anak na hindi talaga sila pwede magtrabaho sa ano. So kahit hindi ko sila kakilala, kasi sometimes kala mo yung mga best friends mo, yung close friends mo, relatives mo magjo-join, hindi pala. Yung mga taong hindi mo inaakalang mag-join, <laughs> nag-join sila dun sa business. Kaya kailangan, hindi mo i-ano, uh, i-miss yung shot na, ay, kausapin ko to, ano. Kahit nasa restaurant kami, basta, ma- <laughs> napipil ko rin naman eh, kung okay naman. Basta mumiti sa akin. So, aanahin ko lang din sila. Sabi ko, oh, kamusta? Saan kayo dito sa New Zealand? Yung mga ganun-ganun. Eh, friendly naman lahat din, syempre, yung mga Pilipino dito. Hindi yeah. lang Pilipino, pati yung, kasi ang dami kong customers na puti. Actually, lahat ng ano ko, daming staff sa sa farmers kasi na 50 and over. Yeah. So, yun ay may mga asthma, mm-hmm. hindi sila pwedeng mag chemical spray which yun ano nila. Gustong gusto nila yung cloth and water. Sabi niya, I'm so so happy so said that you introduced this product to us. So, yun, hindi ako nagmi-miss ng isang single person na hindi ko na share to kasi it's not about the income. It's about the mission itself. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, yeah, maybe yes. what I can do, Suzette, after this, mag-usap tayo after this podcast to find out how we can yeah. uh, work together. Pero, side issue yeah. na muna yan because my goal yes. is to be of service then to our uh, listeners and viewers and to give yeah. them potential opportunities. So, uh, okay. like you said, you the Filipinos, uh, ang pin- Naka connection mo at the moment are your relatives so definitely yeah. merong interested i will um pass on their details to you just in case mag email sila sa show or they yes, try to in touch with me and then i will just yeah. link them up with you pero so yeah. sa ito pa yung isa kong question na importanteng question 
So you already have a full-time job. It's already stressful. You are a mom. You have two uh, grown-up kids you look after. At kailangan mo pa mag-side hustle. Mas maganda naman ang kita na sa New Zealand. Dapat kontento mm-hmm. ka na happy ka na. So explain mm-hmm. that a little bit. Uh, actually, parang kasi nung una tinry ko lang siya. Sabi ko, itry ko nga kung okay, ganyan-ganyan. Pero ang saya-saya kasi niya, sabi nga nung mga, kahit yung mga na-recruit ko dito at sa Australia, sabi nila, grabe susit, nakaka-addict. Sabi ko, alin nakaka-addict? Nakaka-addict maglinis kasi hindi kami mahilig maglinis. Pero ang sarap-sarap na makikita mo na sobrang linis na nung bahay mo, sobrang linis na nung workplace mo. Y- yun, yun ang ano eh, it's not more about the income, pero magugulat ka na, nilalagay na lang nila yung bangko mo ng pera. Sabi ko, just ko naman naman to. Tapos halos everyday, Mimi, may gifts na dumadating, mapa-plants. May plants silang ibibigay sa akin. Natutuwa okay, sa iyo. They, they reciprocate oh, your, yung giving them a way to change their lifestyle maybe or um, to help oh. them out with the potential income. Very exciting oh, to set. So I'm really, really happy for you. And I'm so, what is that to set? What are you ito, ito, dito, dito nakalagay yung three gifts. Ito yung ah, binibigay nila. Okay. Three gifts. Instead. So, so yun, parang nag-grow ka talaga sa kanila. Nag-grow yung business. So, bibigyan ka nila ng mga certificates then badges na na-promote ka, ganito-ganito. And aside from that, yun na, yung pera sa bank account mo. Uh-huh. Pero sabi ko, grabe, parang, parang kahit pagod na pagod ako sa trabaho ko, pagkatapos ko, tapos nakikita ko yung Norwex, ganyan-ganyan, nawawala yung pagod ko, Mimi. Kakaiba <laughs> talaga. <laughs> So, okay. ibig sabihin, the lesson, one of the lessons na napipick up ko sa experience mo sa set is that hindi mo lang yung pinapasok just for the income like you said and not only for the mission. Kasi kahit pa paano, it gives you something else aside from yung stress. O kung baga na yep. release yung stress mo, uh, natutuwa so, ka. So, yes. may mga mamis dyan na nakakaramdam din ng ganun. Maybe kailangan nyo rin mm. ng diversion. Maybe you need to do Ito, something oh. else para malibang kayo ng konte. No pressure yeah. naman siguro sa set, di ba? That is a business. No pressure. pressure uh, the mm-hmm. amount of time that you spend in the business and the amount of money that you will make all, all ultimately depends on how how much work you put into it, di ba? So kung yeah, yeah. Tayo, you may time. Mm. So yeah. hindi mo naman sila, hindi mo naman sila, ano tawag dito, pressure rin na magbenta na magbenta na makakota okay. ng how many oh, oh. wala walang ganun walang ganun na pressure pressure ano you work on your own pace di ba kasi ako parang ako nga hindi ako masyadong nagbebenta hinahayaan ko yung mga ano ko pero inaalagaan ko sila so yeah. yun ni eh, yung 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 inspiration na binibigay mo sa kanila yung training libre lahat yun ha <laughs> hindi na sila kailangan mag modules or something pero Grabe, basta na-promote si Kasi pag na-promote ako, hinahata ko sila pataas din eh. Hmm. Sabi nila, grabe kung Seth, hindi ko akalain na lalo na yung iba naman na talagang sa atin, sabi nila, hindi man lang ako naging ganito, pero napopromote ako dahil sa sa'yo. So, yung nai-inspire mo talaga sila, yun, uh-huh. yun yung ang sarap-sarap na parang, parang ano ka, instrument ka rin ni God na maging, di ba? Hindi, maging masaya din sila sa buhay nila. Ang basher skull, Suset, pag sinabi nila, oh Suset, magaling ka lang kata- kasi talaga sa sales kami, we're just ordinary may bahay, we're, we're just ordinary mm-hmm. moms, wala kaming katalent-talent. Gusto kong mag-join mm-hmm. pero baka hindi ako mag-succeed. Anong masasabi mo dun sa mga nagsa-self-doubt or feeling nila? Oh, dapat, dapat, do do it. Eh. Oo. dapat wag silang mag, ano, mag-doubt sa sarili nila kasi lahat naman tayo may strengths. Tsaka hindi naman basta kung nag-join ka, basta nag-join ka lang, pababayaan ka na. Hindi. Actually, yung lahat, yung dalawang na-promote kong uh, consultant ngayon, sabi nila, yung mismong vice president ng Norwex, tinawagan sila to congratulate at ano pa yung maitutulong namin sa kanila. And sabi nila, we're so happy na being under Suzette's, <laughs> you know, um, wing. Kasi talagang binibigay naman niya lahat sa amin. Sabi ko nga, wala akong masyadong ganung time. Pero after work talaga, kung Talagang, siyempre, bibigay mo ng 10 minutes man lang sila para kung ano yung maidadagdag mong kaalaman din sa kanila. So, uh-huh. okay. um, so huwag, huwag silang matakot kasi, di ba, kung hindi ka mag risk sa life, wala talagang mangyayari. Right. Tayo, di ba, nag-ano tayo dahil na siguro maganda na rin ang buhay mo sa Pilipinas, pero bakit ka sumubo, di ba? Kasi hindi mo akalain na, just ko, ang New Zealand pala, ang Australia, paradise siya. <laughs> Nung nagpunta ako dito, sabi ko, just ko, may ganito palang bansa. Hindi ko akalain na 
wala daw pollution, totoo yun, walang pollution, di ba? Wala daw ahas, totoo yun, walang ahas. <laughs> Talaga, sabi ko, totoo pala, na, na parang dapat umalis ka, sabi nga nila, namamatay yung dreams mo kung lagi kang nasa comfort zone mo. Exactly, exactly. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Words of wisdom, well, yan, Suset. Words of wisdom. Okay. Teka nga pala, okay. another question that I have is, paano mo nagjajagil yung time mo? I know you already said na you devote your time sa business mo after your work. Pero yes. ha- how how stressful naman yung work mo sa farmers at over the, over that, over and beyond that, eh gusto mo pang mm-hmm. gawin tong online business. Siguro naman hindi ka naman oh, tinupush ni half husband, di ba? Ano yung internal oh. driving force mo na napapagtas ko ka? Swerte ko lang. Siguro ang swerte ko lang din kasi dahil malalaki na nga yung mga bata. Tapos si husband super sipag. So kung mara nagtrabaho ako sa bahay, sasabihin niya wag, wag na okay na. Siya na lang. Yung ganun, kumbaga talagang tulungan eh. So, nakakatuwa kasi talagang parang, kuwari maguhugas lang ako, sasabihin niya, wag na. So, ang swerte-swerte ko talaga. Yeah. Oh, may mabuti. Hindi eh. lahat ng husband gusto maguhugas ng pinggan. <laughs> Oo, hindi siya masyadong nag expect na kailangan ako gawin. Kasi minsan kahit gagawin ko, kasi sobrang linis niya. Kuwari na po na. Pupunasan pa rin niya yung mga ganun. Pero maganda kasi, kumbaga nakakatulong ba? Tapos uh-huh. nakikita naman niya na masaya. Nakakatawa ako, kumbaga magte-text ako ganyan. Sabi niya, Norwex na naman yan, ano, kasi nakangiti ka. Uh-huh. Diba yung ganun? Iba kasi talaga yung happiness na nabibigay niya. Na, oo, minsan stressful sa work. Lalo na syempre, manager din ako. So, ang hirap kasi talagang, <laughs> diba? Lahat ng responsibilities na sa'yo. Pero siguro, it's just a matter of kailangan i-train mo yung mga staff mo na maging expert. Kasi kahit nasa Pilipinas, so set O, oh, na maging ako. O yeah. maging katulad ko. Yeah. So, ang, yun ang ginagawa ko sa mga tao ko ngayon sa New Zealand. So, ang ginagawa ko, lahat ng alam ko, sinishare ko, hindi ako ano, eh, hindi ako selfish sa knowledge ko na, ay, baka palitan nila ako in the future. I, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be very glad yeah, na yeah. maging suset din sila. Di ba yung gano'n na, i-train mo silang maging expert, di, ang dali-dali na ng trabaho mo. Kasi, sasabihin ko lang sa kanila, dahil alam mo naman dito, di ba, yung mga puti, hindi naman sila katulad ng mga tauhan natin sa Pilipinas na isang tingin mo lang, alam na nila na, ay Diyos ko, kailangan ko gawin to, o yeah. ganito, ganito, di ba? Pero na-train ko silang ganon. Kasi siguro, it's just a matter of really, not only giving na parang, oh boss ako, ganito, ganyan. Hindi yun eh. Dapat nandun yung care, concern mo sa mga tao mo. Tapos, sila na yung mag-aano na, o oh, sige, gagawin ko to kasi we're so happy working with you. Yeah. So, yung being inspiration din sa kanila. So, nakakadali yun ang trabaho. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, ang lesson na napipick up ko naman sa'yo, yung sense of caring mo sa staff mo, yung malasakit mo sa kanila, and of course, your style of leadership that makes them really want to contribute yeah. for, the good of the, for the good of the group. Alam mo, Suset, very interesting talaga. Uh, first of all, you 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 moved to New Zealand for a better life. You're still in the industry yeah. that you've grown up with. Nag-mature ka na dyan, naging manager ka na dyan. And yet, despite that, meron ka pang side hustle that is a booming <laughs> business for you. Ilang months ka pa lang nandyan and, and yet promoted and promoted and you continue to be growing in number for your team. So I, I think what our lesson uh, for today really Uh, that we can share to our audience or listeners is that if you really want to do things in life there's no one go- that's gonna stop you from from achieving so what you really want to do ma pap mlm so pa yan ma direct business pa yan ma business mm-hmm. industry ka pa as long as you have the right attitude and i i can see it it's radiating in you you're very happy you have the right attitude you can really do things so, Siguro ay yung mga nag-iisip, huwag na silang nega, no? Dapat maging uh-huh. positive. Hindi ka inangan. Mm. Kasi ang kalaban mo yung sarili mo, eh. Mm. Yun, yun yung kalaban mo. Kailangan alisin yun. Kasi di ba parang magda-doubt ka, kaya ko ba yun? Hindi kasi siya ganito. Yun nga yung i-compare. Don't compare yourself. Uh-huh. Baka mga mo, mas magaling ka pa sa akin, di ba? Hindi, hindi, hindi mo alam. Yeah, that's <laughs> Hanggang right. hindi mo ito na-try. That's right. Yeah, so. Okay. So, Suzette, uh, thank you for your time. That's all the time that we have. So, 
Like I said, Thanks. I want to know just in case may mag-email sa akin or may mag-reach out sa akin that's interested yeah. in the product, uh, mabuti yeah. pa-forward po yung details mo sa kanila. So, mag-forward yes, tayo for the show. So, thank yeah, you, Mr. Yeah, Seth. Yeah, and I'll give you on Facebook, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Facebook para ma-messenger nila, lalo na sa Pilipinas. Free naman akong tawagan sa messenger, di ba? Okay, so, so si Suzette po oh, ay nasa messenger. <laughs> She's available yeah. via messenger. So, reach out. Seth Reyes. Okay. Yeah. Kasi yung uh, picture namin or video namin ni Suzette, so you can find the right Suzette Reyes on Facebook para ma-messenger yes. niya siya, di ba? Okay Perfect. guys, thank yeah. you, thank you very much for joining us thank today. Thank you. Ito, Suzette. So if you yeah. have any other stories, topics that you wish to feature in the show, please email me. The details are provided in the description of the show. Uh, Samut Sari is a member of the Gorilla Podcast Syndicate. Please like share all our videos and also watch the other podcast episodes view them watch them listen to them from the gorilla podcast network and then of course my youtube channel and my facebook page please support it so i can serve more people by sharing inspired inspiring stories like suzette so this is me and suzette saying bye bye thank you for until the next edition of samut sari conversations with me bye maraming salamat If you find value in this episode, make sure you like and subscribe to be notified of new releases. If you have any questions or suggestions, please reach out to Gorilla Podcast or send us an email at mimi at dinosocial.com. Spread the word and don't forget to tune in next time.